I'm not working on something specific related to AI, but um, yeah, how did you know that? Well, you've got a solid background in software and AI, so it seemed likely. And you can change this shortcut in the settings, okay. So maybe I can try that high there. Oh, it's, it's actually working now. Well, hello there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Welcome back to yet another video. Now, today we are going to be going through ChatGPT desktop version, which is um, the desktop version provided by OpenAI. And I'm going to walk you through on how to have access to it. So all you need to do is log in into your ChatGPT. Um, you know, previously it was chat.openai.com. Now is now chatgpt.com. You come over here and once you're locked in, um, you just need to click on your profile here. Make sure you're like on the latest version, of course. If you don't have this UI, maybe try refreshing, clearing your cache as well, because I noticed um, some people might be might still be on the old UI. Um, like with my old account, I was still like on the old UI and had to refresh to actually see the new UI. So all you need to do is you just come to your profile and then you click on download right here. And once you click on download, you are going to have, you're going to be able to download it. And once you download it, you're going to have it in on your computer. And essentially this is the desktop version of ChatGPT. So um, this is ChatGPT for desktop, which um, for this specific use case, we're running on, um, on the MacBook Pro Apple Silicon, um, which is what I'm running this on. So we're going to head straight forward to the installation. And oh yeah, I have already installed it. So I'm just going to replace it. Um, it's going to install right here. And then good. Now, after you have installed it, you should be able to have that in your apps. So if you um, search chat GPT, you should be able to have that in your chats. And then you just open it you can go to your, you know, your Explorer and um, you can search for that as well in your apps. So once you open it, you just need to log in into your account. For my case, I'm going to log in into with my Google account. So which is what I've been using for this specific use case. So um, I've been using my Google account. So I'm just going to log in with my Google account here for me to log in into my um, open AI account. So once we log in, we have this UI which shows like quick access and bear with me. This is my first time of trying this. We're trying it together. So um, I have not installed this before. So we'd like, you know, going through this together. So shortcut to say use a shortcut to ask questions, upload files or take screenshots from anywhere on your computer so I can use um, option space interesting press option space to open the chat bar right that's interesting that's really interesting and you can change this shortcut in the settings okay that's totally fine so maybe I can try that high there oh it's it's actually working now so how do I change oh I can oh yeah 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 temporary chat upgrade plan so I can upgrade plan directly from here interesting interesting so I guess I can record this well here I need to give permission hello good morning how are you doing I don't think oh it, it got that oh I thought it was recording and it's it's gonna you know it's gonna create some interference but no it doesn't let's try the voice It's connecting, still connecting. Wow. I don't know, maybe it's my internet. I don't know. Hello, good morning. How are you doing today? You're welcome. Are you working on something related to AI or just exploring today? 
I'm not working on something specific related to AI, but um, yeah, how did you know that? Well, you've got a solid background in software and AI, so it seemed likely. What's the specific AI project you're working on? Okay, um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, so I think it got context from our previous conversations on um, memory. So I think that's why it was able to know that and like I have AI experience and stuff like that. But yeah, so I guess I can up, I can take a screenshot. Oh, interesting. Entire screen, right, right, right. So that's it guys. That's just pretty much about it. Um, I guess we don't have access to the chat GPT-4 yet. As you can see so um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, catch you soon